Well, after that very sage advice, let's continue to use our platform to promote awareness. And our very own Jamie Lee Domberg got to spend time with veteran South African actress Lillian Dubé in Johannesburg. The bubbly actress gets personal with Jamie about her very own journey with breast cancer and talks about the popular Itemba Walkathon taking place all in the name of breast cancer awareness. Go to AB. Are you sensitive? You go on a ukfunya guy, you are going to go to the city. Go to hang a sosong escat. Kumile screen a langa pant. Scala must figure Makai. Mbona sing at two AB, Uting Amun to Osam Lalel. Nakalagan Jan Manch. Ungakala Moguti. Unga be called Liku Kupel. Legendary actress Lillian Dubé is well known for a role as Sister Bettina in Soul City. Now it was this role that led her to find a lump in her breast in 2007. Today she lives cancer free in remission and we find out how she's doing in her home in Johannesburg and how she'll be commemorating this month of cancer awareness in October. Ma Lillian, you look absolutely amazing. Knew her, who this? My breast cancer hair. Oh, I love it. It suits you so well. Thank you. You look good, your mindset is good, everything is so positive about you. But I want to take you back to 2007. You know, the first walk you had with cancer. Take us back to that journey and how you recovered from that. My darling, 2007 was the worst year of my life. I can't believe it's 2020 and I'm still alive because I thought being told you've got cancer is a death sentence. I really thought I was going to die, mm. especially because I had been telling people on the 1st of December that HIV, it's not a death sentence, they can just be on treatment and use condoms and all that, the ABC, abstain, condomize and be faithful. Then, when I was told I've got cancer, because I told the people that cancer is worse, you die. So I thought I was going to die because I said it myself. But then I started praying when everyone else, the SABC, Soul City, uh, the car guys had crashed up. I mean, the whole uh, uh, nation, I mean, here, in fact, everywhere, people were praying for me. And I also started praying for myself. And I was very lucky, I had the best doctors. I want to take it back to, you know, being in a space now with breast cancer. How important is self-examination and going for mammograms and going for tests and also just knowing your body? It is so important, Jamie, to know your body because the signs are always there. But because of ignorance, because I was lucky to have known what to look for. That is how I found my own lamp when I was taking a bath, looking at my breast, seeing the other one being too bigger i mean they are normally they are not the same size but just more pronounced than i knew there was something wrong <laughs> um, you're also now in a space where you're creating awareness and using your platform to inspire other survivors you've partnered with itemba foundation why was this so important for you my darling it was like god know, knows my heart i created awareness through bikes i joined a bosom buddies and i joined I joined cancer survivors. Cancer survivors deal with all the cancers. To see so many people coming to support all colors, we have so much fun. And for me, knowing that people are getting educated because knowledge is power when it's applied. Because for me, it's about early detection and early treatment. So I am very, very, very proud because uh, it's walkathon. It's the biggest in South Africa, and it's well attended. So it is the highlight of my year. Take us through the registration if anybody wants to take part of this event taking place the 31st of October. The most beautiful thing is this year, everybody from all the nine provinces can participate because now we're going to do it online. From today, you can just go to hashtag walkathon. You really are so inspiring and really just have a message of hope for everyone. What is that message that you want to share with other survivors that you know uh, is going through the same or doesn't have the same outlook on life that you have? The main thing is the mind. So I want to say to anybody that's been diagnosed or that's on treatment that cancer need not be a death sentence. Because breast cancer people are the most fortunate. We have support groups. And in those support groups, even me, you can phone me at 12 midnight. I will never say I'm sleeping. 
if someone is going through treatment, I offer my help, I offer my support, I always point them out. So my, my greatest message is that when you have cancer, it's not the end of the world. It's at the beginning of a brand new beautiful life. Mum Lillian Dube, thank you so much for allowing us in your space this morning, just for teaching us again to create awareness because we are all in this together and spreading your hope and positivity with the rest of South Africa. So thank you so much. I feel honoured, my baby, and thank you. You're such a beautiful lady. I didn't pay you to say that, OK? <laughs> <laughs> what was that money for? <laughs> You too can do your part in creating awareness this month in the Itemba Walkathon taking place on the 31st of October. Like my Lillian Dube said, go out there and make a change in someone's life.